I can't figure out how you fucking I've, say I've it. just said to Rob that 60% of the time it works every time, and now he's doing math because he don't like it. I don't fucking understand it. You might know what else. I tell you, 60% of the time it works every time. How can that be right? 60% every time. It is. No, it isn't. It is. 60% of the time it works every time. 60%. That means it has to be 100%. <laughs> every time it's 100%, isn't it? Chickens. Right, here we go. 30 right. cows in a field. 30 cows in a field. 28, 28 chickens. 28 chickens. How many didn't? Right, so they ate the chickens. Or did they, they want a 28 chicken? I'll say two, but it's fucking not, is it? <laughs> See? Again. So I'm banned from the drills now, am I? You're, you're not fucking in charge of nothing. I am. <laughs> Pass me the one with the socket in it. <laughs> yeah, fucking Philistine. Eh? Well, not everybody can be a fabricator like you, no, mate. Not everybody can be a fucking engineer, that's true. That's it, yeah. See, self taught, mate. This is what you get when you self taught. Self taught my fucking backside. <laughs> eh? So here we go, so it looks like in the daytime. This light bar here is going to be moved up onto the roof rack with a couple of other spotlights. And uh, when I get a bit of spare coin, I'm going to put a solar panel on the front there. So that's uh, south facing when I park up. Uh, this is made from rhino rack material. So if you can see this, you can just slide nuts and bolts. Uh, I mean, it's quite tall. This. You can slide nuts and bolts to wherever you want. Tighten something down, clip whatever equipment you want on there. So uh, we'll get the old armadillo rack and we'll put that onto the roof rack then, which then gives me back all this space for my LED lights. And um, this is just temporary on for now, because like I say, another project when I get a bit more money is ditch this uh, Tough Trek one and get another big armadillo one for this side, because this is gone now. I don't know if you can see that. It's split to death on this corner. So it's, it's actually letting water in now. So it's not ideal for the awning material itself to be uh, going all mouldy and what have you. So yeah, that's basically where we're at with this. On the top. Not the strongest wreck in the world, but I'm not putting anything up there. It's purely for putting solar panels on and uh, just general things like firewood and things as I come across it, so we'll get a bit closer. Another little job at the minute, I'm just leaving the, uh, the vehicle on charge because uh, what's happening is I'm driving it somewhere, hammering the batteries and driving back, but I'm not putting enough charge in to uh, recoup what I've taken out, so this is another reason I need solar. So I'm just leaving the vehicle on charge now, just top up both batteries and give them a good um, conditioning because uh, batteries don't like being low, so it's worth giving them a good workout every now and again by banging a lot of charging. So what Carl's doing is he's just turned up with some uh, big heavy duty piano hinge. He's cut it in half. He's uh, just made the end so it won't unwind itself. And he's gonna put a hinge either side here so we can fit this door. Oh. <laughs> So that's that tidied up and as well as that I've got the wheel arches just pushed into place he'll leave those up and he's going to weld them all the way around for me so that'll be the back door on the wheel arches in so then you can see the door here we'll try and cut that in but we've only got a couple of hours of daylight left so we'll try and get that in then that's the thing uh, all sealed up ready to insulate out and uh, board
I do nice to that. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Hmm. We pick up, put a big hole inside of the trailer for Rich. For me ego. Just got a little bit of a video. It's not fastened in yet. We've just uh, it's a it's a nice tight snug fit. So there we go. We'll get a lot of sealant round this get it riveted in because it is butt up on both sides with the uh, the steel so that couldn't have been any bigger to fit which isn't bad for a guess was it off ebay no so we'll get the door reattached now um need to get a couple of hinges here because uh, it was broken this is how i got it so cheap so we'll uh, we'll fix all that we'll get a caravan style door in it instead of the two locker doors and that's that one done so that one's on fitted just needs um a bit, a bit of trim around the inside so the P-seal can go on to it then get this one on so that is pretty much there so focus focus Ooh. so yeah the next job then will be uh, king spanning it out because it's it's watertight now <laughs> 